All right, so now that you've got your walls laid down, let's take a look at adding some symbols to our map. And by symbols, I mean adding the details for the floor of our map, or it might be, if you're doing a profile, the, the ceiling and, and uh, floor of the map. And symbols are rocks, and they might be stalactites, stalagmites, flowstones, slopes, any of that kind of thing, any detail you've got here on your floor. Now, before we do anything, though, in Illustrator, what I'd like to, to do is show you a resource online. And this is uh, the official UIS list, which UIS stands for International Union or something of speleolo speleology or something like that. Um, I think that says UIS because it's Union Internacional de Espeleológico or something. So um, this is the official UIS list, and basically what it is is there is a resource for um, for symbols and things and other things on mapping. So let's go into English here. I'm going to click Go, and you can type in the URL right up here. And what I'm most interested in here on this page, I haven't really played with a lot of these uh, these features, but let me show you one feature that you have available to you, and it says Get as a PDF. So if I click on that, I can go through here, and this will show me a huge list of symbols that the International uh, Union of Speleology, or whatever it is, uh, has agreed on. So these are standards that a lot of cave cartographers will use on their maps. Now, um, when we get into Illustrator, I'm going to show you that there are, of course, always other options. And the things with uh, the thing with cave symbols, and here, let me show you, I'm blocking part of this view over here. It tells you what this is a symbol for. The thing with symbols that you put on your map is as long as you've got a legend, you can make whatever symbol you want. Just on the map, there needs to be a legend that explains what that is. So if you don't like some of these, so I'm looking back up here at uh, the stalactites and stalagmites. I don't like. I don't really like the Y and the inverted Y. I think it looks uh, kind of hideous and silly. So I'm not going to use that. So I'll use something else. I'm scrolling down. Maybe I don't really like the blocks and debris that they've used. I want to design my own and other features. So you can scroll through this and use it as a guide for yourself. If you like their symbols, use them. If not, then make your own. So let's uh, go back now to um, Illustrator and let's look at how we can put together our own symbols. Okay, so let's see. Here we are in Illustrator, and I'm going to show you what I've put together here. This is a list of symbols that I use, or that I like using, and I'll, of course, deviate from these now and again. But here are some stalactites that I've drawn together. Um, I've got some other stalactites for a plan view. This is more for a profile view. Uh, I've got some stalagmites that I've drawn, some plan view stalagmites, electites. So you can get as simple or as complex as you would like to go. And the way that I've created all these symbols is uh, pretty simple. I just drew them in Illustrator. So let's go back to our map here. And let's say that I, I want to draw a stalactite symbol. So I'm going to come over and grab a tool over here for drawing. If I'm comfortable with a pencil, I could try using that. I'm going to use the, uh, the, the pen tool here. Maybe we'll go over quickly how to use that. So I'm going to zoom in a little. My passage. So actually, before I do anything, I should go over into my layers and create a new layer. This is going to be for my stalactites. And yellow is fine. Okay, and there's my stalactites layer. And I'm going to start just by drawing a stalactite, a very simple stalactite. And to use the pen tool, I click. That sets the initial point. Notice that point's still there. Click again. And now it sets the next point. It's waiting for the next one. So I'm going to come down here and click again. And it's still waiting. So I can continue to click and create these polygon shapes. I'm going to undo that. When I come back to the beginning, notice how there's an O. That means it's going to seal this shape. So I click that. And now I've created a solid shape. And I'm going to come over here and reverse this so that the Stroke is now the fill, and it's a nice solid shape. And maybe I'll shrink it down. That's a little bit big for a stalactite, so something like that. 
All right, there's my stalactite. Let me show you really quick here, going off on a side note, more of the pen tool. I had the option to click, 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 and create a polygon with jagged edges, or what I can do is set the first point, and then click, hold the mouse down, and drag out, and I drag this line that's basically controlling the curve. I'm going to come down here and set another point and drag, and notice how that curve changes. So I can create rounded shapes as well with this. So I create a blob. Of course, I don't want that for my stalactite, so I'm going to delete it, but that's how you use the pen tool. All right, so now with my stalactite drawn, what I'm going to do is grab my symbols palette. So I'm going to go to Window, and then find Symbols in here, which mine's out of view. It's down below. Check that, and it'll show up. Most likely, yours is going to show up over here, nested with this group of palettes. I'm going to separate it so I can come over here and show you. So let's move it over here. Here are my symbols, and I want to convert this into a symbol. Pretty easy how I do that. Grab it, drag it over here, drop it in the palette. It says New Symbol. I'm going to call this one Stalactite. And I'm going to make it a graphic. Now, if you are using anything earlier than Illustrator 4, you're not going to be able to see this. You won't have these features. This is uh, Adobe's attempt to integrate Illustrator with Flash in, cre in using animations. So I'm going to just save it as a stalactite symbol. If you're using an earlier version, probably all it will have will be stalactite, the name, and then that's it. So just give it a name. If you do have the option selected as a graphic, hit OK. And voila, there it is, right inside of the symbol. Now, you may ask, well, why, why do I even want to bother? I can just draw a whole bunch of stalactites out here, and, and then I'm good. Well, the great thing about, about a symbol, first of all, if I come in here, let's take a look at our, at our shape that we've drawn. Notice that in order to create this, that I've had to add one, two, three points. So that's three locations that Illustrator has to keep track of, which the more points that I have, the bigger our file size becomes. Now, with a, with a symbol, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Click it and delete it. I deleted the instance down here, but I still have it in the library. With the symbols, I can now grab this, drag it out, and drop it. And I've just dragged out an instance. And basically, this here is keeping track of one single point, not three to make the shape, but one for this instance. And I can drag out as many of these as I would like. Now, make sure I'm on my stalactites layer. Good, I am. So that's the beauty of symbols. And I can draw anything here that I want, turn it into a symbol, and then drag out what are called instances onto my artboard. So very quick and easy. I don't have to go and draw three points for each stalactite anymore. Just grab them, drag them out. If that one's too big, I'll shrink it down a little bit. And give it a little variety. So I can grab a whole bunch of symbols out there. Now what I've done here is uh, I'm going to come into my library that I showed you earlier. Let's zoom out a little bit. Once you create and draw all these shapes, which I've done in, in uh, a separate document, and then drag them over, so I might grab this rock and drag it over into a symbol and create a symbol. I'm not going to do that now. So I've gone through in, in another document. I've dragged all these into symbols, so my symbol library is full. And what I can do after I've created all these symbols is come up to in the drop-down menu, and I can choose, let's see, I'm going to have to move this down a little for you to see. So I can come down and choose Save Symbol Library. So I can create my own library of symbols by drawing symbols out here on my artboard, dra dragging them over into the Symbols Library, and then I can export this library. And let me show you what I've done. <coughs> I'm going to go up here come down to, instead of Save Symbol Library, I'm going to choose to Open a Symbol Library. I'm going to come down to the bottom and choose Other Library. And a dialog box should open here in a second after the spinning beach ball of death finishes its work. Let's see how long we have to wait. And come on. Do your magic. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to navigate to, let's see, let's lock this down here. And navigate to where I've stored those. Let's see. 
there we go, cave symbols, and I believe it is right here, Brandon cave symbols. When I hit open, we'll give it a second to do its thing. And it opens a new symbol library that I created earlier in this other document. And here are all of my cave symbols. So the beauty of this now is I can go through my cave map and say, okay, well, here's a symbol. Let's drag that out. That's pretty big. And we'll put that there for a flow stone. I could grab a stalagmite and drop it down there. That's too big, too. Let's see. Let's grab a halictite and put it in. And actually, this is my halictite symbol. And these are for, for the profile view. So I'll grab this guy and drag it in. There we go. Beautiful little halictite. And so on. So I can grab these and drag them out. And you can create this great symbol library. You do it once, and then you never have to do it again. And I can put this over here, and now I have access to my symbol library. Okay, so I think that's probably about it for creating symbols. And this symbols you're going to use for stalactites, the halictites, the um, stalagmites, and a few other things. But then there are some other symbols that we need to draw that we need to create using different techniques, and we'll get to that in a second here.